All right, here we go. Number 15 from our college algebra, homework number three in my lab math. It says use the quadratic formula to find exact solutions. So we're going to use the quadratic formula this time to solve this quadratic, which I have copied down up here. Let's get started. First of all, if we're going to use the quadratic formula, our quadratic needs to be in standard form, which means it needs to be equal to zero. And so we're going to bring the negative 9 over. That's going to give me 2x squared plus 6x. That'll become plus 9 equal to zero. And then we're going to need to know the values for a, b, and c. So if your quadratic is in descending order, then your letters are in alphabetical order. So A is 2, B is 6, and C is 9. And this would be a great time to remember the quadratic formula, which I'm going to give to you in song. Here we go. X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Man, I'm a terrible singer, but I love that song. That is the quadratic formula song. And now we're going to take our values for a, b, and c, and we're going to plug and play. Here we go. It's going to be x is equal to negative b, we can see that b is 6, that'll be negative 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's going to be 6 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 9, all over 2 times a, which is 2. And so now that we have all of our values plugged in, we're going to take our handy-dandy calculator, and we're going to calculate the radicand. The radicand is the stuff under the radical. So I only want to calculate the stuff in the red box. That's going to be 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times 9. And that is negative 36. All right, so we've got negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 36 all over 4. Notice that we are taking the square root of a negative number, and that means that our solutions are quadratic, uh, not quadratic, complex. Mm. Solutions are going to be complex. So we're going to have negative 6 plus or minus. What is the square root of 36? That is 6. The fact that it's negative means that you're going to have an i all over 4. And then the 6 and the 4 will reduce. So we're going to have negative 3 halves plus or minus 3 halves i. And that should be the... Uh, solutions in standard form, meaning standard form uh, of a complex number. Right here, do you see a plus b i? I've got my a plus or minus my b i. This is standard form of a complex number. So we're going to have uh, negative 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 i and negative 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 i. And let's see if that's right. Bam! Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.